Okay guys, today I'm with you in the F15EX. I've been doing testing on the Raytheon AIM 200 Paragrind, which has little to no information on it, uh, both in real life as well as in DCS. Uh, the purpose of this video will be to showcase the max range of the missile. I'll also give you a little bit of information about it. So the Paragrind is supposedly, according to um, the source, a source from, I believe, the Aviationist. Um, it's supposed to be a hybrid missile between both the AIM-120 and the AIM-9. Yeah, it's supposed to use, the secret head technology uses a combination of both. It's a significantly smaller missile than both of those, uh, both the, the AIM-9X and the AIM-120s. Um, it's only supposed to be six feet in length and it weighs roughly 150 pounds now compare that to the aim 9x which is a nine foot missile that weighs 170 pounds so not too much heavier not too much larger but the aim 120s are supposed to be 12 foot missiles weighing anywhere between 330 to 370 pounds depending on your source uh, so right now i got two c-130s off my nose uh, i've got the aircraft in bbr mode it is in TWS, so we're going to lock the right C-130 first and then the left C-130. What we're going to do is do a TWS um, shot on both of these guys. Right now we're just climbing to 35,000 feet, Mach 1.1, coming up on Mach 1.2. Um, so we're simulating, these are our normal shoot parameters for the squadron, the 122nd, when we are typically taking our first shots. And I just want to replicate that. I don't want to get too much faster than, you know, stay anywhere between Mach 1.1 to Mach 1.3. So we're looking good right now for the shot. And we're normally above 35,000 feet. So we're looking good as well as for the uh, altitude and airspeed. Um, I've done testing earlier on um, using these same parameters. Um, I've done shots on both of these bandits at both 45 and 50 miles and the AIM-200 was not able to um, after the C-130s began maneuvering which is everyone knows the C-130 is the most maneuverable aircraft in DCS that's sarcasm but anyways uh, once the C-130s we started maneuvering the the AIM-200 the Paragon was not able to hit them so uh, today we've got both targets coming up on now 40 miles 45 miles rather we're going to send two AIM 200s at 40 miles at our targets and hopefully this will be our last test to confirm about 40 miles is the max we can anticipate uh, getting out of the AIM 200. Okay got a good shoe queue starting up at about 44 miles. All right good lights and I'm going to be Fox three times two now. A 40 mile shot and a second one. Okay, let's go ahead and push our radar elevation down a wee bit in the event that these guys start maneuvering. If they, if they go up, they're in deep trouble, but they should be diving here pretty soon. Okay, range to the first band, it's now back to 33 miles. So at this point, we're just watching. Um, again, I went on DCS, I typed in AIM 200 and I got pretty much nothing. So to the extent of my knowledge, this should be the first video on the, the Paragrine, again, made by Raytheon, and all the information that I've given you as far as the dual, uh, the dual seeker head, the, the length, the weight, that's all coming from the source I got online via Google search, the aviationist. So, okay, it looks like the first C-130 is maneuvering to evade. Second one is looking like it's still hot. First C-130's diving as well. Okay, good hit from the on the first one. Second one's maneuvering as well. Good hit on the second one. So we got two good hits. Now whether or not you know C-130's are in the game a wee bit more durable for some reason. But let's go ahead and put him in a single target track and finish him off. But, uh, well, I guess he has finished off. That was a waste of a missile. Anyways, it is from all the information that we've been able to collect and, and uh, 
review that I've been able to collect the review. Again, 40 miles on a slower target is well within the scope of the aim. Uh, slower target being the C-130 is well within the scope and range of the A-200. Given that you meet the parameters that I've kind of shown you, anywhere between Mach 1.1 to Mach 1.3, greater than 35,000 feet. So, uh, hope this information helps out anyone who's flying and using the AM200. As you can see, it's a smaller missile. The EX can carry four on each pylon. So, with that said, I hope this helps out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.